perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And the mood is boisterous. It is a perfect ambience for the central characters who are ready now to perform. So we're up and running. And the keeper's got it again. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Sinchenko. That's very neat. Usai does really well. Ukraine have a free kick. There's much frustration as to the lack of a touch to finish that off. It's a quick ball upfield. Oh, that's a key interception. Played back to the goalkeeper. He's had it taken off him. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And there's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. Calmly anticipates. Zinchenko. Shifted upfield. And into the grateful arms of the keeper. Not played the ball, that's a foul. <laughs> Steaming on goalwards. It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Very nicely done. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Succumbs to the pressure. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Climbs up big! Oh, the ball's run loose here. Stop it going out. And we hit half time. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goals. 
So there was the first half. Ukraine really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we're already back on the way here. Oh, no question, that's a foul. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Well, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. Chance to shoot now, has a goal! He has done it! And the second half is off to a flyer! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. Ukraine break the deadlock. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Well, that was a period of possession which carried just about no threat at all. He's had a hit! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort, I and mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. Kumbula. This might spell danger. Bruja! That's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's played forward. Now, who's going to be first to this? Aslani. Forwards and with intent. Shot could be... Bruja! Albania really might just end up kicking themselves after that. That could well have been it. Stepanenko. Yeah. 
So Gankov, who's set up one goal so far. Ukraine leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Stepanenko. Great! He's had a shot! Sticks it away! And this is getting better and better. Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. Oh, that's a measured delight. The curly applied was immaculate. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see the more experienced lads step up to the plate now.